today we're going to be going over how to create a map wide alarm system in the game rust so whether you're solo looking to know if you've been raided when you're halfway across the map or a massive zerg who just can't hear the sound of boom or a silent raid this is the video for you so first off let's go over what you need so now what you'll need for every alarm is one rf receiver one battery and one audio alarm for your trip, you're going to need an RF broadcaster, a laser detector, or whatever you're using, and again, a battery. So I'm going to go ahead and create two alarms in one trip. So let's go ahead and create the trip or what's going to cause the alarm to go off first. So what you're going to do, lay down your battery, put down your laser, and now put down your RF broadcaster. You're going to go from the power out of your battery to the power in of the laser detector. Go from the power out of the laser detector to the RF broadcaster. And that's all you need to do. Now, one thing you do want to do is make sure there's a way to charge the battery, but I've gone over that in other videos. So now when your laser is tripped, that RF broadcaster is going to send out a signal on a frequency. Set that frequency to something hard to guess, but that you can remember. And now we're going to go ahead and create our receiver or our alarm. You're going to place down your battery place down your RF receiver, and now place down your audio alarm. Again, this can be anywhere on the map. Now all you need to do is go from the power output of your battery to the power input of the RF receiver, go from the power output of the RF receiver to the audio alarm, and bing, bing, boom, you're done. Just set the frequency, and as long as that frequency is lined up with your RF broadcaster's frequency, anytime that laser is tripped, an alarm will go off. Now we're going to go ahead and just create a second receiver or second audio alarm here. So we're going to just do the same things with the battery. Again, remember these batteries need a way to be charged, so make sure you do put that in. It can be a generator, it can be everything. This doesn't have a huge power draw. So there we go. That's all it takes. Now let's say we didn't want to use a laser and instead wanted to use something simple like a switch. All you got to do is pick up your laser, go ahead and put down your switch, and then attach the power output of your battery to the power input of the switch. And then you go ahead and attach the power output of your switch to that RF broadcaster. So yeah, it's that simple and you can really use this to do a lot of stuff. You can make it so once a laser is tripped, the switch needs to be thrown to turn the alarm off. If you wanted a more advanced build or you could even do something like a pressure plate or something like that or you could detect when something's removed from a box. All these are really easy ways to detect if someone's raiding through your base. Till next time, peace.